It's the third round of the 2016 F2 World Championship, held at beautiful Tvedestrand in Norway. Two weeks after Campioni, the Grand Prix could be the turning point in the World Championship. Alberto Comparato, the rookie driver from Italy, is still leading the championship, but Pierre Landin got a big advantage after his win at the Swiss Grand Prix. And Comparato started pretty bad into the weekend when he crashed out at Saturday's free practice. The boat could be repaired for qualifying, but it didn't run well, so the Italian didn't even make it into Q2 and will start only from 16th position. Also, Bimba Sjöholm was a victim of the rough water in Tweedestrand. She rolled over at the same turn like Comparato. Sjöholm, who didn't make it into Q2 either, will start from 17th spot. So after Q2 it became clear, Eric Edin, Pierre Landin and Matthew Perfreyman could be the favorites for pole position. And also Frode Zunstal made big progress finishing third in Q2. In single shootout Q3, Sundstahl again put in a very quick lap with 47.62. As Rube Temper did, the Austrian also finished his quick lap at 47.62. This time good enough for the third position on the grid at tomorrow's race was posted first by Temper, so he will start from third, Frode Sundstahl fourth. When Matthew Perfreyman put his foot down to run Q3, his lap was immediately stopped by the race director. Perfreyman was disqualified. Not knowing why, he wanted to continue, but the decision was made, Q3 was over before it even started and Perfreyman will only start from 10th position. Why? Because he started into Q3 from the wrong side of the pontoon. No, I'm a bit disappointed. Um, I'm a bit disappointed at the fact that we said we were going to run under protest because there was no actual rule that we, uh, you know, we got disqualified on. So I wanted to run under protest, just put a time down, and then we sorted out afterwards. But I wasn't allowed that uh, that privilege. I think the pace was there for to, for second. I think first, it's you know, Edin's lap was was, was phenomenal. So he uh, he deserved that pole. So congratulations to him. But just disappointed. I don't actually know what I could have done. I'd like to think I could have been up with him, but. See what happens tomorrow. So now it was up to Landin and Edin to find out who will get pole position at the Norwegian Grand Prix. First to set a time was Eric Edin and the Swede was flying 47.44, his quickest lap only 18 hundreds faster than Rup Temper. Would this be enough to beat Pierre Landin? the world champion on his flying lap and he finished with 47.47, 300 slower than Idin, who made it once again after Finland, pole position for the Norwegian Grand Prix. I'm very happy with the boat and the team and the propellers I used. They are, yeah, it feels really, really good, of course. A uh, little bit sad that I still sad about Campione. I want to take the pole the whole season, but uh, I'm happy with this. Pierre Landin was also happy with his second and he knew that Edin's time was hard to beat. He's fast. He did a, a good second lap there and uh, I, he did a good job. And uh, my boat is also perfect and my team did a, a great job. We had some minor problem uh, in the morning but uh, everything uh, is back to normal again. The conditions in Tweedestrand are rough and the wind and waves will promise another spectacular race. So what will be the strategy for Landin and Edin to win in Norway? Make sure that he, he has to work for, for, for it tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> take the start and don't take any boys, that's, that's, that's the thing. Anything can happen at the third round of the Formula 2 World Championship. So don't miss it and keep on following F2 on YouTube, Facebook and f2worldchamp.com. <laughs>